One of the most successful moguls on the planet is Elon Musk. He is a visionary and a genius who is redefining technology and building a future for everyone else. At 10 years old, Musk got his first ever computer, the Commodore VIC-20. He fell in love with it, and since then he was totally stuck with the world of technology. Since then, Elon has never looked back. To say that Elon is a busy guy is an understatement. He manages SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and his other ventures at the same time. In 2016, while he was stuck in another LA traffic jam, he got frustrated and tweeted he was going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. In case anyone thought he was kidding, he followed up with another tweet that said, I'm actually going to do it. It wasn't a hastened decision. Musk had been thinking about it for a while. We are all familiar with time-consuming traffic jams, especially if you are in LA, and Elon's solution might end it for good. After this, he founded a company, The Boring Company, to achieve his goals and end the problem of traffic. Since then, Elon Musk's Boring Company is all over the news as the next big smart city technology, with the potential to completely transform the face of urban transportation by quite simply placing it all underground. So just sit back and watch the video to know about The Boring Company and its plans. Musk has proposed a series of overlapping tunnel networks, which will transport people across cities, countries, and continents on skate platforms or through its new electric transport system Hyperloop. This may seem like sci-fi, but it is happening. The Boring Company is already in agreements with cities. The first Hyperloop will be built in Las Vegas for the massive convention center which hosts the Consumer Electronics Show every January. A typical walk time between the new exhibit hall to the existing central hall can take up to 15 minutes, but with the Boring Company tunnel, it only takes one minute. The visitors will be packed into a Model X or Model 3 car. The vehicles will zip through the tunnel set up to 155 miles per hour, initially with a driver and eventually autonomously. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop LVCC could be the beginning of a bigger Vegas network, potentially one day connecting to Los Angeles. In LA, there's a proposal to take fans to and from Dodger Stadium, so instead of sitting in traffic for an hour, the dugout loop, as it's called, would only be a four-minute ride and cost a dollar each way, but expanding to expanding major cities will only be possible if we bring down costs. Elon Musk's SpaceX did the work of cutting down cost very efficiently. Earlier, space shuttle launches used to be really expensive, costing up to $400 million per mission. Then SpaceX came along and cut down the cost to $62 million for a Falcon 9 flight without affecting the performance. In the very same way, building tunnels can be very expensive. In order to make a tunnel network workable, tunneling costs must be reduced by a factor of over 10. Los Angeles's Purple Line subway extension has a price tag of more than a billion dollars a mile. Yet the one-mile demo tunnel only costs 10 million because the Boring Company applied the principle of reusability responsible for SpaceX's success. Typically, the excavated dirt is thrown away and the process of taking it off-site is very costly. Instead, the dirt will be used to help build the tunnel's reinforcing segments on-site, and any leftovers will be turned into bricks to be sold, paying for the dirt removal itself or given away for free for affordable housing projects. Another way the company is cutting costs is by decreasing the tunnel diameter, cutting the cost by four times. The standard size for a single lane is 28 feet in diameter. Borings will only be 12 feet, which doesn't leave a lot of room. If the tunnels are small, building them is easy and fast. Tunneling today is slower than a snail. For this, they are aiming to create a faster system for digging tunnels with the fastest boring machines. This is our goal. We must be faster than a snail. For this, they even have a company mascot called Gary the Snail to keep them on track with faster and a cheaper system. That seems easy, right? It surely isn't. A simple standard tunnel boring machine can dig one mile in about 8 to 12 weeks, 
but the Boring Company has plans to dig more than a mile in a single week. And if that happens, subways will soon be history. A train would have to stop at every station, whereas the loop passengers could travel directly to their destination, skipping all the other stops. Not only will it save time by avoiding stops, but also because of its speed, which will be 10 times the speed of a train today. The loop is a stepping stone towards the Hyperloop. This is the exciting prospect of this project that it might be able to seamlessly integrate with the Hyperloop, which is another transport system that Musk is planning to build, and which could travel at speeds of up to several hundred miles per hour. This means that this could provide a high-speed network that could both work for intercity travel and for traveling at larger distances. The loop will be for inner-city travel, whereas Hyperloop is meant for city-to-city -city transport at speeds more than 600 miles per hour. The passengers and cargo will be in a pressurized pod. It could either connect to the loop or fit within the loop tunnels. For the past few years, SpaceX even has held competition for students and non-students to build subscale prototypes. So if you have any good ideas or visions, definitely try it out. Recently, Boring Company got a verbal government approval for an underground New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, DC Hyperloop, as said by Elon Musk. But we know that when it comes to large-scale projects, verbal approvals and government approvals are two very different things. The company is working through the real boring part, the long and intensive paperwork process. They recently published a sprawling 505-page draft environmental assessment. The report lays out Musk's plans with accurate details. If this project is completed, the loop would carry passengers between Baltimore and Washington through twin 35-mile tunnels. Autonomous driving vehicles would shoot passengers at speeds up to 150 miles per hour, completing the entire trip in a mere 15 minutes. The company further noted that at some point the Baltimore-Washington segment could link to a hyperloop carrying passengers to New York at speeds up to 600 miles per hour. Though the current potential use of Hyperloop is unknown, it will soon be reality. For its effort in building the Las Vegas Convention Loop, Boring Company got its first payout of a $44 million contract. Las Vegas is hedging its bet on the Boring Company by withholding more than two-thirds of the payment until the construction is complete. It's a technology gamble, but they are ready to gamble on Elon's ideas and visions. The Boring Company says that Loop is needed because the wider DC region is terribly plagued by traffic. The Loop will save a lot of time for the people, but the company will face challenges from other transportation options, like the highways, subways, intercity buses and trains. But if built in the way as the company promises and it satisfies people with their safety, the loops will probably have an edge over these other transportation options. The Boring Company promises a speedy construction process for the loops. The draft report says that about 10 to 15 boring tunnels can get the whole thing done in about 15 to 24 months, depending upon the company's ability to improve its boring tunnel technology. But as said earlier, getting government's verbal approval isn't enough. Before it can stick its tunnel boring machine in the ground and start digging, the project will need approvals from government from departments like Maryland Department of Transportation, the City of Baltimore, Federal Department of Transportation, and many others. It will have to team up with regional water authorities and environmental authorities. It might need a set of purpose-built regulations for its new technology. And at last, it will face criticism for some people, especially its competitors. But the Boring Company has proved all of them wrong until now. Boring Company's other ventures have been mired in bureaucracy and in politics. The company had to abandon a loop project in West Los Angeles after a legal challenge from a local neighborhood association. The Chicago High Speed Airport Connector, once promoted by former Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel, faced uncertainty in its future after the city elected its new mayor, who has not been shy to openly talk about her opposition to this project. Two other projects, a proposed loop to Dodger Stadium and another small system inside the LA Convention Center, are also struggling for approval from the locals and government. So it looks like that the Boring Company still has a lot of ground to cover and appease many people. They cannot use the technology unless people are sure that it will elevate their life. 
Although this technology may captivate minds, there are questions about how safe a loop or hyperloop would be. The DC to Baltimore loop has been criticized for not having emergency exits. The plan is to construct up to 70 ventilation shafts serving as exits that would be spaced as far as two miles apart. Though the company has stated that the loop is designed to be the fastest and safest system ever and says that it will comply with safety and fire protection standards. Still, some engineers are skeptical that this will succeed on a large scale. But the same was said for SpaceX when it began. But SpaceX changed the future of space exploration. In the same way, many people thought that Tesla would never learn the art of mass production. If Musk is known for anything, it's beating the odds with engineering feats. Musk and the company seem to be a powerful institution in itself. On Wednesday, the Federal Department of Transportation praised the release of the draft environmental assessments in a press conference, and it timed the release with the rollout of another pet project, its new non-traditional and emerging transportation technology council, which DOT describes as a deliberative body tasked by the secretary to identify jurisdictional gaps arising from DOT's review of new transportation technologies. A completed DC to Baltimore loop still has a long way to its approval, but at least Washington has one agency that has showed no sign of disagreement. Clearly, this is an extremely ambitious project, creating a whole new type of transportation and infrastructure. Musk is publicly asking questions if this is possible, or what more improvements they can make. Why hasn't it been done yet? Projects like The Boring Company and The Loop are daring people to think bigger about progressing into the future. But The Boring Company would finally give us freedom from the traffic that drives everyone crazy. The future should be anything but boring. Thank you everyone for watching. We really appreciate that. So what do you think about The Boring Company's plans? Will we be able to use them in the coming future? Let us know your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.